What's up everybody? This is Summer from Fire Hustle. It's been crazy. Inflation rates, a banking crisis, crypto regulations, and a lot of other terrible news. There's a lot going on. It's easy to see why a lot of us may be struggling right now. So what's the solution to surviving in this market? Well, it's not really a solution, but it can definitely be a game changer to those that are dedicated to pulling it off, and that's starting a side hustle. More and more people are starting side hustles, and judging by how you clicked on this video, I'm guessing that you're one of them. Well, you've come to the right place. One of the best ways to successfully start a business or a side hustle is getting in early. That's why I took the time to research and find three high-performing, not oversaturated side hustles that you can start in this market. The second side hustle is one that many of you may not have even heard of, so I definitely recommend sticking around to learn more. Now I'm bringing this info to you at no charge and I don't want anything in return from you guys but I did notice that only 37% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. And it would help me out a ton if you could just scroll down and quickly drop a like, subscribe and most importantly hit that shiny bell notification button so that you can get the early scoop on finance news, side hustles and crypto projects before they go to the moon. Now, as a thank you for hitting the like and subscribe buttons, here's a cute video of a cat as your reward. Now, let's talk about the first side hustle. The first thing I suggest you do is figure out what skills you have or skills you're capable of learning. Then you can sell that skill for money. The side hustle I'm talking about here is doing niche jobs for other people on Fiverr. Believe me, you'd be surprised at how much money you can actually make if you sell the right services to the right audience. Fiverr.com is a marketplace where sellers can provide any service to buyers and the beauty in the website is the variety of services that are offered. You can start a Fiverr business with skills like graphic design, video editing, copywriting, brand work, social media knowledge, and so much more. The first thing you should do if you don't have any ideas on what you can sell on Fiverr is to browse Fiverr yourself. And I recommend creating a list of services you come across that you think you'd be able to do. You can even put your own spin on them to stand out. Once you've picked some ideas out, head over to YouTube and teach yourself these related skills. You won't need expert level knowledge or decades of experience on things like video editing or graphic design. Everything you need to know to get started can be learned through one of the many in-depth video tutorials on YouTube. And if you still need help picking a service, I've made a list of ideas here. Pause the video here if you need to to get some ideas written down for yourself. And remember, this is just a quick list. There's many more ideas out there. And the best thing is that you can learn a lot of these things through free online resources and by doing it yourself. Now, when you've created a post on Fiverr and you're ready to post an ad to attract customers, I would recommend looking at other people's ads in your niche for inspiration. You can combine the most attractive parts of their ads with your own ideas, give it a little twist to make it stand out amongst the competition. And in terms of the pricing, go based on what you think your work is worth. Again, you can take a look at other people's prices on the market and note down the price range. It might be beneficial to start at the lower end of this range and charge less earlier on. This will help you bring in more customers so that you can build up reviews and your seller reputation. Eventually, you'll be able to charge more as you develop your portfolio. Now for the second side hustle. You may have seen my Turo Journey videos. It's an app where you can earn money by renting your car out to others. Well, you'd be surprised at how much you can earn from this. Anyone can list their car on Turo as long as you're the owner of the car or have authority to do so. Of course, you can't just list any car. It has to be in good working condition and safe for others to drive. If you want a full list of requirements, Turo does a great job breaking down who and who cannot host on Turo. Or you can check out my video for beginners, which I've linked in the description below. Now, everything is done through the app, so you create your listing, take high quality images, set your price and availability. Then anyone can book your car. You can filter out people and accept or deny their request to book your car and they make it very easy to chat with anyone renting your car. There's also two-way reviews for the host and renters. Now, I talk about Turo a lot, but I thought this might be a great time to give you a quick update. I've previously made a video about how much I earned when I started out on Turo, but just this year, I've already made $2,139 in revenue from just one car. And not to mention, I have upcoming trips booked totaling about $950. Now, keep in mind, this may vary depending on factors, 
including your location, the car that you're renting out, and even the season. The cool thing about Turo is that you can eventually add multiple cars to your fleet and expand your business with different types of vehicles for different clients. Now when it comes to safety and insurance coverage, Turo Protection Package covers vehicles on every active rental, meaning rental fleet insurance is not required. Any trip that involves your vehicle being used, picked up, or dropped off will be covered by this policy. For example, if a driver were to damage your bumper, you can get a quote from Turo and they'll cover you for the estimated repair costs. If you're interested in trying this out, check out my channel as I have a few Turo videos, including my first 30 days on Turo, 120 day results, guide to becoming an all-star host, top products to improve your vehicle, and more on the way. Now, the last side hustle on the list for today is creating a lead generation agency. This is one side hustle that I have a ton of experience with, so if you guys want a full video going over each and every step, let me know. So every business needs customers, and finding new customers can be time consuming, especially when you have a full business to operate. The idea here is to contact real businesses such as barbers, tattoo shops, HVAC companies, or pest control companies that constantly require new clients to make money. Offer these people services that could help them build their brand and generate clients. You can either solely focus on generating new leads for these businesses or even act as a full-fledged agency that would help them create a website, a logo, brand, email list, social media pages, and other marketing needs. The main thing they're going to be looking for is clients, so generating leads to build a list of clients for people will be the backbone of your business. The first thing you'll want to do is to contact businesses and offer them your services. You can find contact information for businesses on their Google business profile or website if they have one. You can even use an extension like hunter.io to find their emails. It's probably best to contact them through as many mediums as possible in order to increase your chances of actually getting through to them. It might be tough to make that first email or cold call, but over time you can build up a script to help guide you through getting clients. Talk to them about how your services will help them improve improve in their business and how you can help them generate leads and ultimately generate more income for their business. And you can even offer them a deal. Remember, the more businesses that you reach out to, the higher your chances of landing that new client. Now, keep in mind that you do need a plan of how you're actually going to help these clients generate new leads. And there's many different forms of advertising that can be used to achieve this. The most common for local businesses would be something like Google Ads, although lots of people also run ads on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Now, as a general overview, the point of running Google Ads is to get the name of your client's business out there and to get people to click on your ads. And a major factor in this process will be the keywords you decide to use for your campaign. By keywords, I mean the words that people use when they search for things on Google. For example, if someone's looking for a dentist, they may search up dentist near me, which could be keywords targeted by a dentist's office. While you're advertising these businesses, there are countless others out there doing the same for their own businesses, so you're actually competing with others to get your ad placed when someone searches for a specific keyword or set of keywords related to your business. And the ad that does get a placement is the one that's willing to pay more money on the keywords. And there's many other factors that go into which ads are shown. It could be the quality of your ads, the quality of your landing page, and many other factors. As your skills improve and your ads perform well, you can start charging more for your services and even reach out to more businesses with a successful portfolio. Of course, there's a lot more details about running ad campaigns that I haven't covered in this video, but if you're interested in this side hustle, make sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll create a dedicated video working with Google Ads. And that's all folks, I hope you found these side hustles useful and let me know if you want to see me continue this series into the next month. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. A lot of people don't know this, but the best way that you could help me is by actually hitting that bell notification button. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.